I have no confidence in Travis Shaw. I do have hope for the potential in Luis Urias. And in some leagues, he's already second base shortstop eligible. Another player that with the DH, now I'm talking about players who benefit from the universal DH. I think Howie Kendrick is a big winner now with the universal DH. And I'm leaving off some players this morning because I've already talked about Jonas Cespedes. I'm trying to dig deep here. Kendrick would not be, in my mind, a full-time player, but now with the extra batter, <laughs> he's perfect for DH for the Nationals. You know, he's getting older, and he pulls muscles. And if you've had him on your fantasy squads the last few years, you know what I'm talking about. So now Kendrick, who may not have been a full-time player, World Series most valuable player, now has an opportunity as the DH. And I frankly don't see a better option on the Nationals team for that DH role than Howie Kendrick. Look, he had a 966 OPS last year. That was, you ready? 122. 122 points higher than his previous career high of 844. I don't know if it was a change in his approach, but I do know this. It worked. Kendrick, 91.6 average exit velocity. That was a career high. 11.4 degree launch angle, a career high. And a 48.3 hard hit rate, also a career high. He hit fastballs better than ever. He hit breaking balls better than ever. He posted career highs against curveballs, breaking balls, in batting average, extra base average, slugging. His fly ball rate a career high. Boy, this sounds good, doesn't it? 34.1%. His pull percentage was the highest since 2009, 10 years earlier. And just for fun and kicks and laughs and whistles, oh, by the way, Kendrick had a career low 13.2% strikeout rate, backed up by a career low 7.2% swinging strike out rate. He, I don't think he had necessarily a starting job. I think he was going to be a utility player. But now, giving the universal DH, how many of you guys are clamoring for Howie Kendrick. Here you go. Let's do this play this game. So you got a choice right now. You got to make a decision. If you had to make this decision right now, do you go out and put Howie Kendrick on your team or do you go out and put Jonas Cespedes on your team? Right now you got to make that decision for the whole season based on the limited knowledge that you have. And I know there's a lot of potential upside with Cespedes, but Howie Kendrick as a DH just makes me salivate as a fantasy owner. How about you? So, these are some players. I got two more I want to give you. And, and these are interesting for me. I want to talk about the Braves for just a minute. You know, they there was this Battle going on at third base. Was it going to be Johan Camargo? Was it going to be Austin Riley? Now, could it be both? Could it be that both players who were having really good springs before the spring training was stopped, could it be both of these players are ready to have career years. Now, we know last year when Riley came on the scene, he was incredible for a few weeks. And then, whoosh, somebody popped the balloon and the air went out. Camargo has always been a utility guy, and this year in spring training, the Braves were talking about maybe this is the year that Camargo is the regular third baseman. 
He was more of an everyday player in 2018 with the Braves. He had 19 homers, a 272 average. In 2018, he also had a 37, 30, excuse me, 33.7 hard hit rate. Now, they aren't going to be fantasy championship numbers, but they're good numbers. And he's 26 years old now. The Braves are going to score more runs than others on average. He should be able to score drive-in runs hitting in the bottom of the order. He should have dual position eligibility. And Austin Riley should be the same way. Again, I think this universal DH has opened up many an opportunity for players who otherwise may not have had it. We'll continue this discussion. There are a lot more. But we're going to stop for today. I want you to go out today and thank a veteran. Spend a moment and think how great a country we live in and how thankful we should all be for what service people have done for us. Be back tomorrow on Arnie's Fantasy World of Sports. Stay tuned in for, throughout the day. Chat room, thank you. I was concerned this morning we may not have anyone in the chat room. But it's a Labor Day, Labor Day, it's a Memorial Day holiday. So if you're traveling, be safe. And I'll talk to you tomorrow right here on Arnie's Fantasy World of Sports.